India, an ancient nation and now, that defied imperialism to be a modern economy at the heart of global growth. As technology evolved, so did India, becoming a country with one of the highest GDPs in the world. And among those who made India what it is today is the PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the PhD CCI, a chamber where progress, harmony and development come together. Atma Nirbhar Bharat and as India further progresses to be Atmanirbhar or self-reliant PhD CCI is ready to play a pivotal role. As the chamber is the most prominent voice of the MSMEs, it is perfectly poised to work in this sector to translate the idea of self-reliance into a reality. PhD CCI has steered many policies at the national and state levels as liberalized India was evolving to be the new India the chamber was at an advantageous position to offer thought leadership so many prominent policies have inputs from the PhD CCI and as its contribution to growth the PhD CCI has organized prominent annual events such as the Pitex, Agri and Hortitech, Arogya Melas, Defense Expos and the Farm to Fork among many others. Hence, the government recognized its contribution by issuing a posted stamp in 2005 in its centenary year. PhD CCI is a constant partner in the progress of the nation. It shares the government's dream of making India a $5 trillion economy by 2024 and has strongly supported the Make in India, Skill India, Digital India, Startup India and Stand Up India movements. It has also been bridging the gap between policies and practices, particularly in supporting the MSMEs of the country and its role is guided by the intense research it undertakes on different contemporary issues. At the very beginning of the lockdowns caused by COVID-19, the PSD Chamber took proactive measures to begin holding webinars and virtual conferences in which all the stakeholders were invited. It provided the correct platform for the trade and industry to interact with the government authorities to try and minimize the disruptions caused by the lockdowns. In the face of such a difficult situation, the Government of India's resolve of building an Aat Nirbhar Bharat, a self-reliant India with inclusive growth across all sectors of the economy, deserves highest appreciation. The Rs 20 lakh crore stimulus package to alleviate the difficulties caused by COVID-19 has therefore proven to be very timely. All indicators for the month of September 2020 show that the economy is gaining its vitality back again. Electricity and fuel consumption is up. The volume of EV bills increased to a record 57 million for the month. Railways increased their freight tonnage by 13% and a record 1.8 billion digital transactions were made. What the Chamber is achieving today is the fructification of a humble effort that started in 1905. That is, even before the national capital moved to Delhi, eight prominent businessmen created the Punjab Chamber of Commerce. From this humble beginning to becoming a gigantic force in the Indian business scene, PhD CCI constantly evolved, successfully addressing the needs of the times every time. Its initiatives got the support of prominent personalities who steered the Indian economy. This partnership is still going on. PhD CCI has more than 2200 direct and 1.5 lakh indirect members across India and it has about 250 associate members and 16 state chapters. The Chamber has its headquarters in Delhi, 
It has state offices in Delhi, Chandigarh, Haryana, Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Assam, Gujarat, and Kerala. The disruption caused by the pandemic is being seen as an opportunity to radically reform our health sector by developing world-class infrastructure and harnessing digital technology and artificial intelligence powered tools. During the critical phase, our esteemed PhD members provided timely support to state governments by building hospitals, health centers and manufacturing world-class critical care equipment such as ventilators and PPEs. In view of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Ministry of Ayush is making optimal utilization of electronic and digital platforms for promoting indigenous practices of medicine and healthcare and digitalization of our health records. PhD Chamber organized a number of seminars, webinars on the Ayush system to facilitate knowledge building and the transfer of cutting edge technology and skills so that we may truly become Atam Nirbhar. Industry 4.0 is changing the landscape of manufacturing industry in India. While technologies such as robotics, AI, ML, cloud computing and big data analytics already exist in the manufacturing sector, their integration with one another will transform the way we do business. The PhD CCI takes immense pride and thanks its members for making it a robust caucus brimming with ideas, sharing with camaraderie and daring to grow. The partner chambers of the PhD CCI are the Gujarat Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the Maharashtra Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture, Federation of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana Commerce and Industry, Federation of Karnataka Chambers of Commerce and Industry and Federation of Industry and Commerce of Northeastern Region. The headquarter has all the facilities that help in outreach to the business and administrative functionaries. It has a state-of-the-art auditorium, conference halls and meeting rooms. The chamber organizes regular events and meets to facilitate the business community. PhD CCI plays a leading role in scouting for opportunities for Indian businesses abroad. As a part of this initiative, PhD CCI participated in exhibitions in Thailand, Russia, Bangladesh, Singapore and Iran. It opened its first overseas office in Bahrain in 2017 to reach out to the GCC countries. It has also participated in several India-specific events worldwide such as the India Expo in Saudi Arabia, the 16th Global India Festival in Malaysia, Best of India in Azerbaijan and the Best of India show at Sochi, Russia. The chamber also accompanied the Prime Minister at several places across the globe. PhD CCI has signed an MOU with the European Business Group to strengthen ties in post-Brexit Europe. It has also formed an Ambassadors Economic Forum to boost business in countries not explored much till now. When this pandemic started and when the lockdown was announced, PhD was one of the first chamber to bounce back and it filled the gap which was there between the government and the industry. In fact, uh, PhD made sure that all the problems with the industry which uh, they were facing because of various regions, be it state center coordination, we addressed most of those issues we represented into the government and got uh, most of the problems of the industry addressed at that point of time. I'm also happy to say that in last few years, PSD has positioned itself as a thought leader, as a think tank. Even in these pandemic times, we have made in last uh, six months, we have made almost 152 representations to the government. And these are backed by the research being done by our research bureau and also we have taken inputs from the industry and I am happy to say that the number of our recommendations and inputs which were given to the government, they were accepted. What makes PhD CCI the most innovative is its services to the MSMEs. 
It has about 50 specialized committees from a wide range of subjects ranging from agribusiness to airports. It has effective facilitation systems for MSMEs on issues such as loan facilitation, IPR, tenders and much more. For these, the Chamber has a full-fledged facilitation centre. Indian startups and innovators will play a vital role in the success of the Atmanirbhar mission. PhD believes that startups are the backbone of Indian economy, especially for generating employment and enhancing GDP to double digit growth in the near future. Young startups in India are set to adopt radical solutions and breakthrough technology to leapfrog into the future. PhD Chamber, through the Young Business Leaders Forum, popularly known as YBLF, and the Startup Forum, plays an active role for the youth and their mentoring as future business leaders. These forums work effectively for promoting and developing business networking, leadership skills, organizing programs for disruptive learning and simultaneously contribute to nation building. As an encouragement to performing businesses, the PhD CCI has instituted awards and recognitions for enterprises. The role of the Chamber isn't limited to business. Through its foundations on family welfare and rural development, the Chamber executes its social responsibility and, as the COVID-19 pandemic affected the country, PhD CCI took innovative measures to carry on functioning post-lockdown. It was one of the first Chambers to go online with prominent webinars. During Unlock One, it adopted foolproof safety measures in its office with Arogya Setu app being made a must for entry into the PhD CCI office. And Member organizations ensured safety measures in their factories. PhD CCI also ran awareness campaigns on COVID safety and lent its support to ground level efforts. Members of the PhD Chamber once again rose to the challenge in contributing over 525 crores towards the PM Cares Fund. Our two foundations, the Family Rural Development Foundation Family Welfare Foundation contributed to the lakhs of underserved food packets, sanitizers and masks and personal protective equipment. I wish to thank our managing committee members, patron members, star members and special invitees to the managing committee for their guidance and support. PhD CCI is a consistent partner in India's growth story. It is the symbol of India's consistent effort to grow as an economic powerhouse. For PhD CCI, it was, is and always shall be India first. <laughs>